Okay, so um, I'd like to start by thanking the organizers for giving me this uh, excellent opportunity to um, present our uh, call for participation in the mutation calling uh, benchmark exercise we've put together, um, mutation calling uh, benchmark four. Um, this is the fourth benchmarking exercise that TCGA has carried out. Um, so I'm going to tell you a bit about how we've gone about setting this up, what the motivation is, um, and uh, how to get involved. Okay. So just briefly to go over the uh, mutation calling um, benchmark process uh, in case anyone um, is, is unfamiliar. Um, we start out by selecting pairs of uh, tumor and normal BAMs. Uh, BAMs contain short read alignments. Um, and these BAMs are then distributed to um, the participants in the benchmarking exercise. And they call mutations and return mutations as VCF files. So VCF stands for um, a variant call file. Um, it's just a, it's a, it's a standard, uh, widely used method for expressing um, all variety of mutations um, in a unified file format uh, that we really want to push people um, to express their mutations in. Um, and so VCFs are collected and compared, compared for um, concordance and discordance across uh, somatic, and uh, we want to encourage people to um, submit uh, germline calls as well. Um, and so at the end of the day, what we get is a, is a picture of sort of where the field of um, mutation calling in cancer stands, and uh, that's, a, that's a really valuable thing. Um, just really briefly to give you a, a little bit of uh, background and make sure we're all on the same page with the um, kinds of mutations I'm going to be talking about. Um, I'm sure this is, is uh, uh, fundamental, but uh, as SNVs are single nucleotide variants, um, so just base pair changes at uh, defined uh, nucleotide positions. Indels are, are short insertions and deletions, less than 100 base pairs. Um, larger rearrangements like insertions, deletions, duplications, inversions, transductions are referred to collectively as structural variants, um, or SVs. Um, and regions where genomes differ from a diploid copy number, um, differ from an absolute allele count of two, are referred to as copy number variant, um, or CNVs. Um, and so since this is, this is benchmark four, clearly there are three other benchmarks which occurred um, prior to this. Um, and just to go through uh, briefly the, the history of um, benchmarking efforts in, in TCGA. Um, so benchmark one was uh, single nucleotide variant calling on um, six pairs of whole genomes. Um, benchmark two was uh, single nucleotide variant calling on 14 pairs, two more normal pairs of, of exomes. Similarly, benchmark three, again, single nucleotide variants on um, 25 pairs of exomes, this time with associated validation data, so deep sequencing data over selected regions um, to validate uh, the presence of uh, mutations. And so what I'm, I'm calling for participation for today is, is benchmark four. So in addition to single nucleotide variants, we're going to take indels, SVs, and CNVs into account. And we're going to do this on whole genomes um, from derived from, from cell lines. Um, so why is it important that we do another benchmark? So we've done three. Why is it important to do another? Well, if we're going to accomplish the goal of, of comprehensively characterizing um, cancer genomes, TCGA has to get together and, and measure and set standards for the accuracy of uh, mutation calls. And uh, sort of toward this end, um, in, in this benchmark, uh, we're being more comprehensive about the, the variety of mutations uh, that we're considering. Um, so like I said, in addition to single nucleotide variants, we want to extend this to indels, structural variants, and, and copy number variants to get the full spectrum of uh, variation and evaluate how different mutation calling algorithms are performing across these different types of, of uh, uh, somatic variants. So as I'll talk about um, in subsequent slides, uh, benchmark four, really, it's a controlled experiment. So we have these cell lines. We can take advantage of their clonality to do things like um, simulate normal contamination, um, which uh, so uh, Gaddy's talk and uh, Chris Miller's uh, 
talk or great lead-ins uh, for this. Um, we can simulate uh, subclonal expansions by using um, spike-in mutations. Uh, spike-in mutations also give us the opportunity to um, evaluate uh, false negative rates, so they give us sort of a ground truth, and that hasn't been uh, possible in, in previous benchmarking um, efforts. And since the cell line genome data is publicly distributable, we can encourage uh, a wide participation both within TCGA and outside of TCGA. So for instance, we're reaching out to um, ICGC and they're participating um, in this benchmark um, and others outside of uh, the cancer genome consortiums who have an interest in uh, mutation calling in this sort of tumor normal um, context are, are, are encouraged to participate. So further, um, let's see on this theme of why, why are we doing another benchmark, well, um, so there's still a lot of discordance in um, the mutation calls that we get. Um, so this is a sort of a representative uh, example from a previous benchmark um, exercise. Um, and so what is shown here on this Venn diagram, there's uh, calls on the same pair of uh, tumor and normal um, BAM file. Um, made by the Broad Institute, by WashU, and, and by UCSC. And you can see sort of the concordance and discordance here in this Venn diagram. Um, so it's sort of the majority of mutations are concordant between at least two of uh, the centers, but there's still a lot of, of uh, discordance happening. And um, this is, this is in, in, important to take into consideration since uh, uh, sort of Mutation calling is, is fundamental to cancer genomics. Uh, cancer genomic depends on the sort of fidelity of uh, mutation calling, um, uh, mutation calling algorithms. So the samples that we are using um, to derive all of the uh, 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 BAM files that we are distributing for benchmark four are based on these two pairs of cell lines. So HCC1143 and HCC1954. Um, so these are both, uh, 1143 and 1954 are both derived from uh, breast tumors. And the, uh, they each have a paired normal sample, which is derived from blood from the same, it's a cell line derived from blood from the same patient. Um, all of these lines are available through ATCC, and they've been sequenced to between uh, 50, uh, the sequences that uh, we have for this benchmark are at uh, between 50x and, and 71x um, sequenced at the Broad Institute. Um, and as I'll, I'll talk about, and as I mentioned, all this data is, is publicly distributed uh, through CG Hub. So this is sort of um, what we want participants to do. Um, so there's, there's three parts to this mutation calling exercise. So the first part is pretty straightforward. We just want um, participants to compare the, the tumor cell line uh, full genome BAM to the um, corresponding normal full genome BAM for both pairs of cell lines. And this will sort of establish a baseline under sort of ideal conditions. So you've got sort of uh, higher coverage genomes here and they're, they're cell lines, so they're, they're um, presumably clonal. Um, and so from there, it, we, can, we can use sort of this, this clonal property of the cell lines to, to do interesting things. Um, and so these are, uh, we can simulate um, uh, normal contamination, um, so sort of in, in this row A here, what I'm showing is um, uh, samples So each one of these pie charts represents a BAM file that we've generated for the benchmarking exercise. Um, and so what I'm showing here is um, we've mixed the uh, normal and, and tumor BAMs to yield a, a, a 30x um, coverage BAM file um, in various uh, uh, proportions. So over here, um, it's 5% uh, simulates 5% normal contamination, and over here we're simulating 95% um, normal contamination. Um, and as has been alluded to in, in previous talks, uh, normal contamination is an important factor in uh, mutation calling fidelity. Um, and so in addition to simulating normal contamination, um, we can simulate subclone expansion. And the way we do this is by taking the original um, uh, tumor BAM file, spiking in um, single nucleotide variants and, and structural variants um, into a single allele. 
And we can spike into a single allele by using results from um, uh, Scott Carter and, and, and Getty Getz's uh, group's uh, absolute algorithm. Um, so we can uh, selectively spike into uh, one allele. Um, and then we can mix that. So by spiking in, we get a genetically distinct um, tumor, bam. And then we can mix that back in with uh, some amount of normal contamination um, and some amount of the original tumor to simulate the presence of a, a, a subclone um, in the tumors. And so we can scale, we've scaled that from 1% uh, subclone, which will be difficult, if not impossible, to detect mutations in up to 40%, um, which should be feasible. And so this, this sort of uh, normal contamination uh, model scheme and uh, subclone expansion scheme uh, uh, were generated for both pairs of cell lines. And so in total, there's, uh, we're doing six comparisons here. So um, this spam versus the uh, normal, this spam versus the normal, um, et cetera. Um, so in total, we end up with 28 BAM files, um, which are distributed publicly uh, via CG Hub. So if you navigate to this URL here, uh, you can download a public key, and you can use that public key in, in GeneTorrent to grab the BAM files for the benchmarking exercise. And so if uh, those of you who attended uh, the, the um, CG Hub workshop uh, yesterday evening um, should be familiar uh, a bit with this process. Um, and uh, many thanks to uh, Chris Wilkes and the CG Hub team for um, helping us get these BAMs up. Um, and uh, dealing with our requests to replace them and so on. Um, so in addition to providing data uh, whereby we can evaluate uh, the performance of uh, mutation callers comparatively, um, Benchmark 4 has also been stimulating uh, the, the creation of uh, new evaluation tools for VCF files.